Yeah, it was uh, it's a difficult way to end the season again. It's two years in a row. And, uh, you know, I told the guys I was really proud of them. They did everything they were supposed to do uh, to win a game. Now it's uh, we haven't lost an NCAA game in four years, and it feels it feels very hollow and very empty. So, uh, but again, that feeling is you know as I told them. Uh, tough ending. The reason why I feel so bad is because how much they put in and how much they care for each other. And so with every difficult ending from the beginning. And, and this year, we were able to play again in August. And we started going pretty much the same group with some additions. So we'll look forward. Coach Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, congratulations, first of all, on a tremendous season. Um, with uh, with with the shootout, the PK shootout, uh, just using Trevor Mann freshman instead of George Marks, is that just uh, his his um, his height and his reach? Is that the main reason using him? Yeah, and I mean we train penalties all the time, and Trevor has an edge. He's a little bit better, and we saw that with the first day, you know. Um, and and you know we made a decision. We had a plan in place, and uh, he made a save, and unfortunately. Their goalkeeper made a fingertip save. It goes off the post and doesn't go in. You know, the fact that if Mohawk's penalty goes in, we win the game. Coach, um, Quinn and, and Mohammed were the two guys that, that missed for you, but they're also two of the guys that got you here. Um, Quinn scored against Pittsburgh and, and Mohammed scored in your last game against American. Uh, was that your message to them afterwards? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they, you know, penalties are like, it's like flipping a coin, right? I mean, unfortunately, you know, sooner or later it'll come around to us. We're winning penalties instead of losing two years in a row. But, you know, you look at the positives of what everything they've done. That's the most important thing. And those two guys were great contributors and, and we'll be as we move forward. We won't focus on this. Hey, coach, it's uh, Zach Wagner with TigerNet. Uh, in a year that we've never seen before with the split season and you had guys get drafted and then, of course, with everything in the COVID and the testing, just how proud are you guys for making it to this point? Oh, extremely proud. I mean, like I said, we were, you know, if you look back on it, we were the best team in the country throughout a full year season in a pandemic, right? We, were, uh, we won two trophies. And another playoff game, I don't know whether they're going to give us a trophy for that or not, but to get the number one seed, we received the number one in the, in the tournament, and we're out on penalties. You look at that resume, and there's not a lot that in this type of year, you don't have something to be proud of. And the guys will understand that probably in 48 hours. Coach, I'm guessing if someone told you before, Hand that, that you would have 14 corners to just one uh, for Marshall that you'd like your chances, but just three shots on goal. Is it just that kind of a, a defensive struggle? Yeah, I, you know, we knew that we would, uh, we'd have an advantage in, in, uh, on restarts and corner kicks, and that's how we scored the goal. Um, they scored a spectacular goal, obviously, on a restart. And, uh, but again, we didn't break them down and we didn't pass the ball as well as we are capable of. And I think that had a lot to do with getting our, ourselves chances in front of goal. I guess, Coach, the silver lining is that um, uh, with, the, with the spring NTA tournament, you don't have to wait as long to, to get back to work and, and start over again in the fall. That's for sure. Well, we don't have to start over. <laughs> you know, we've got 90% of the players coming back uh, that you saw today. We've got a great group of additional players that will be coming in. And, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just soldier on and march on and continue to pursue, you know, the elusive next national championship for the men's soccer program in the country.